There's a concept in Buddhism that Westerners sometimes have trouble with, and that's merit. Because it sounds too much like brownie points or Boy Scout badges. Actually, as the Buddha said, acts of merit are another word for happiness. In other words, you do good, and you think of the goodness you've done. And that lifts up the mind. In the times when the mind is lifted up like this, when you want to share this, that sense of uplift with others. And it's traditional that you dedicate it to people who passed away on the chance that they might be in a position where they need it and can receive it. So what this means is first you have to get your mind in good shape. You think about the generosity you've done, the virtue you're practicing, the meditation you're practicing. And gain a sense of uplift. There's so many other things you be, could be doing in the world that are greedy and aversive and deluded, but you're not. You're lifting your mind above the normal human level. Or, to put it another way, you're making yourself really human, a real human being. And there's a sense of refreshment that comes with that. You look around and you see your generosity. You see the generosity of others. You have a sense of gratitude for their generosity, and that makes you reflect back on yours, that you've done something good, too. And then you settle down and get the mind into oneness as you meditate. Because the mind, when it's one, is at its highest state. We might think that the mind with lots of clever ideas is a really good mind. But the mind that's able to bring itself into concentration is a higher level than that, because it requires a lot of skill. It requires a lot of understanding of the mind itself. You can think of fruit in a, in a market. In Thailand there's a durian, which is a very expensive fruit, but it's expensive only when there's one or two in the market. When there's lots of them in the market, then the price goes down. In the same way, when your mind has lots and lots of thoughts, the price goes down, the value goes down. That's when it's getting closer and closer to being unified. That's when its value goes up. And that's the kind of mind that you'd like to dedicate to others. So when you make merit, make sure that your merit is complete. In other words, it's generosity, virtue, and meditation. And bring the mind to one and dedicate that oneness of mind to others. May they appreciate what you've done, because their appreciation is going to be what allows them to develop merit as well. And that can be for their long-term welfare and happiness, just as your merit is for yours.